Canada, home to millions of immigrants, a multicultural country that welcomes thousands of immigrants on an annual basis. The same way people move into Canada, thousands of people move out of Canada every single year. Why, you may wonder, here are some of the untold truths as to why people are leaving Canada. Hey guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I have a beautiful guest here, Tinola. If you have seen a couple of my videos and on her channel as well, she has been featured here multiple times. Okay, as you can see from the title in today's video, we are sharing some untold truths as to why people are leaving Canada. If you have been following my channel, you would have seen that I've shared a lot of interesting content about life in Canada, how much I love living here. But there are some things that have not been said. A lot of things are things that people would rather not talk about and that is why we are going into some of these untold truths and details as to why people like it here but they will still result to live in Canada before we get into all of the details please don't forget to subscribe below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it without further ado guys let's get started so the first reason why people leave Canada is because building wealth is hard in Canada like yeah. it's really hard for you to make money and maintain your wealth because when you get to a certain stage in your career in your lifestyle where you are no longer earning little income you're not earning above like the average earning income here you start to get these heavy taxes people pay like 30 Crazy to 40 percent of their income in taxes yeah and like it just seems like you're just working and working to serve the government yes we do see that the government putting this money into like building good infrastructures in the country but it's like why should i be the one working so hard just for other people to leave you get what i mean yeah it's a lot of money even when you have your own business mm -hmm. it's still very um like taxes are yeah, high it's taxes very high. high you pay high yeah. taxes in personal income taxes you pay high taxes in business taxes you pay high value added taxes that's hst or gst depending on where you live it's like just ridiculously high and the system in place doesn't really allow you to maintain your wealth yeah. it's like once you are making money they just find ways to, to make sure out. they cut your money and take yeah. your money out and, save you and keep you in that like middle, uh, middle average level. yeah middle yes level most people in canada are going to be in that middle level middle level yeah. that's just where you, yeah. you can't like be essentially wealthy here. millionaire if you want to be like millionaire billionaire then a lot of people consider leaving, leaving. Canada they move because, to the US they yeah. move to other countries where they can get that tax shield and protect their income from paying excessive tax but in Canada it's like you just keep paying all your income in taxes oh. yeah and then the other thing about Canada that everybody says they love Canada about is free health care of course free health care is fantastic mm -hmm. but here's the thing about free health care free health care means the healthcare sector is overwhelmed. In True. Canada, we don't have enough staff. We don't have enough, enough healthcare, healthcare staff. Workers. Governments try here and there to encourage people to go into these healthcare professions, but it's still not enough. So you get to go to emergency room and you're spending eight hours. Long eight hours, time. yeah, it's mm -hmm. long waiting time. You sometimes need to do certain surgeries and they have to cancel it, not once, not twice because we don't have enough staffs to do that for you. So it's like the healthcare system is free, even though it's not completely free, we pay for because it. Because you're paying for it from your taxes, exactly. But then it's free to some extent. On quotes. On quotes. But at the end of the day, you don't get the full benefit from the healthcare. So it's like, that's what a turn off really for some people. Is, is yeah. it really free? Yeah, and is then it? and then you can't. It's not flexible in terms of oh, I have the money. Let me just no, go to a private yes, place and I pay for it. Yes, I think that's the it. most annoying part yeah. of it because yeah. even if you have the money that you decide, okay, I can just go and get private health care yeah. on my own. You can't even do that because it's not available here. Like yeah. you have to use the same health care that everybody is using. Yeah. So if you have your money, you can make yourself an exception and go get some special or fast health care services. Compared like to some other countries. You have to do the same thing yeah. and wait in line. Wait till you get to your turn for all of these things. Imagine waiting in an emergency room for eight hours. That's no longer an emergency. Yeah, it's no longer it's not like you're done. Yeah. it's just normal. Yeah, some people even move to certain towns and they're like, Oh, they need a family physician and they can't get it. They are yeah, on the queue for like, like six months. months. I'm like, what? 
like, <laughs> so it's like nah, it's, it's, it's a ton of yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, another reason why people leave Canada is because of the high cost of living. It's very expensive to live here, coupled with the fact that you don't even make as much money. So all the money you are making, it almost goes into the cost of living. The real estate is expensive, food is expensive, like the basic necessity of life is very, expensive. very expensive in Canada. And that's how you find people that, okay, people now tend to move to smaller cities just so that they can afford to buy a house yeah. and all that. But then when you move to outskirts or smaller cities, it's like you are now withdrawing from people that you guys have built a community together and now you're going to be by yourself just because obviously you can't afford to live in bigger cities where everybody is in. There's always and a trade-off. Yeah, it's like you're trading off something and when you're moving to that smaller city, definitely you will not be able to see your friends, your loved one, family as much because now you're now far away from them. Mm -hmm. Cost of living here is just ridiculously high. Like, why am I paying so much in rent, so much in feeding, so much in car insurance? Car insurance. Car insurance is the absolute mess Worse. like it's a mess yeah phone bills is like you can just google it phone bills in canada is one of the most expensive in the world like yeah. why am i paying so much for like a phone plan that i might not even make more than how many calls in a month and it's, it's compulsory so these are not bills that you cannot it's not prepaid or something you have yeah. to pay them it's like something month. you have to pay car, car insurance insane insane especially if you live in like more busy cities it's like you may not, never even get to get the reward or claim from an insurance but you are paying so much for that insurance yeah. it's just insane cost of living here is ridiculously high Compared and when you compare pay. it to the income it's like everything keeps going up and up and up but the pay is not increasing and at the end of the year when you look at inflation rates inflation rate is higher than the percentage at which your income increases so it's like people just ask themselves then what's the point why can't i just move yeah. to a country like the us where you get paid more even though the cost of living is still high you get paid more way more than what you earn in canada yeah. so that's definitely one of the reasons why people also leave canada the other reason why people leave canada is boring lifestyle now you guys are probably familiar with this people complain a lot about canada being boring we have limited places to go to have fun you know people get tired of that at the end of the day so they want something exciting canada sometimes feels very gloomy you know everything is so programmed it's the same work and home work and home. lifestyle and people want thing. more people want to be able to uh, be adventurous travel and you'll see a lot of people leave to travel out of out of Canada they might come back to Canada but you see a lot of people just leaving mm -hmm. because they can't spend the entire year yeah in, you know in, the in, in Canada that's why you see sometimes people would be like they are still permanently residing in Canada but they yeah. take trips for like a month or two months to work from other countries vacation. like they call it vacation but they are still working where, while they are traveling because they just want to explore something more fun Canada is like so boring there's nothing new here it's like just the same thing like so why yeah the other reason why people leave Canada aside it being boring of course and expensive life is people get homesick people love their communities so Canada as you guys might know is a country filled with a lot of immigrants so we have a lot of immigrant communities you know here and there and people tend to draw closer to those communities and at the end of the day it's still not enough for a lot of people they still want more from their culture more of their community in fact they get depressed at some point because yeah. it's it it's feels very lonely, lonely. It gets yeah very lonely. it gets very lonely here yeah. so people tend to go back home because they are basically homesick they want to connect with their culture their communities mm -hmm. more it was when i moved to canada i knew that i was black like yeah. of course i know i'm dark skin i know i'm black but like I never knew that from where I was coming from. It was from when I moved to Canada, I knew, okay, I might have an accent. Yeah. But back home, you don't really care about these things because every one of you look the same, everybody speaks the same way, and you don't feel this kind of segregation. But yeah. here, you just get tired of that lifestyle of being cultured, doing yeah. certain things, certain way. Seen as di being different, different. or minority groups, yes. as they call it. You yeah, know? so you just want to go back home yeah. where you just feel like everyone is the same Almost and I don't have to behave a certain way. Yeah, absolutely. Another reason why people leave Canada is because of age. As you all know, once you grow older, you're no longer at that 
like the peak of your career you are beginning to approach your retirement age people tend to now decide that okay um, now that I've made some money I've been able to save I would not like to live the rest of my retirement days or my retirement age in Canada where it's very expensive and they would just rather move back home so once you see people around the age of 50 60s they just decide okay I think um, I've achieved enough of my goals or I've been able to accomplish some of my dreams and at this point in time I'll just rather go back to where I can settle and just feel relaxed yeah. so when you approach that older age you find that people are now leaving Canada once yeah. they grow older the culture here is that once you get to retirement age or you are aging you will be moved to a retirement home and as for immigrant that's something that they don't like most immigrants don't even accept such culture they want to be around their family their loved ones their friends and relatives where while they are aging and while they are growing into their older age till they pass on yeah. so when you approach that older age you find that people are now leaving Canada once yeah. they grow older yeah and still time with the older age another reason why people live is cold weather mm -hmm. so you know when you're young when you're new to Canada you might have that excitement and it can kind of cushion you from the reality of the cold weather mm -hmm. but after a while the weather begins to dawn on you and you're like no I can't take this anymore so people tend to feel depressed during yeah. winter that's definitely a thing winter depression is a thing and very, it affects very, very old huge. people young people it affects people, literally all, everyone even everybody. myself it affects me like literally so people tend to leave Canada because the weather is just too cold now some people will say some parts of Canada is not that cold okay let's talk about British Columbia British Columbia is not it's that cold, cold but it's very gloomy it, yeah and it's it rains raining. a lot I was literally there a few months ago and it was raining exactly like I'm like why is it raining so and it was still even chilly when I checked the weather in Ontario um, in Toronto in comparison to the weather in Vancouver at that time Toronto was warmer at that period and I'm like okay this place is supposed to be the, like the warmest place in Canada but it's still chilly we literally wished we had jackets on wow. or we could go and buy jacket because wow. it was really cold and it was raining like every minute when you're out this moment next minute is, is raining you're trying to just you, you've been out for just few minutes and wow. it starts to rain so it's wow. like crazy uh, the weather in Canada across different places and it's extreme weather condition it's not just even cold when it's cold it's like literally too cold and when it's hot it's like too hot yeah. as well speaking of you going to Vancouver without me <laughs> girl <laughs> don't worry next time we are going on the next trip together okay I'll hold you on that but if you guys haven't seen that Vancouver video this is check the time to check it out too <laughs> Another reason why people leave Canada is because of the Canadian passport. You know, Canadian passport is one of the strongest passports around the world. It allows you to visit a lot of countries. It seems like one of the most powerful passports. And once people reside in Canada for a couple of years, you are privileged or you be opportune to apply for Canadian passport. Then when people feel like, okay, yes, I've gotten my Canadian passport now, what next? I can use this passport to live in literally hundreds of countries around the world so why would I decide to now stay in Canada the passport brings you opportunities to explore and experience other places around the world so people just feel like okay um, one of the reasons I moved to this country is just to like work get a lifestyle now I've got my Canadian passport I might as well decide to move explore elsewhere the world. Like, explore the world go somewhere else try somewhere else where maybe they might even possibly like it better there than in Canada so definitely one of the reasons why people leave some people their goal is just to even just get the Canadian passport once they get the passport like this uh, jackpot. Jackpot. <laughs> and the other reason why people are leaving Canada is because they don't get their desired profession imagine you coming from your country with a, this resume with high position you you've had a number of years to your profession now you get to Canada and you can't practice that same profession it might not be a big deal for it number of people but for people that are really into their profession passionate about it they find that that is a big disadvantage and a big turn off mm -hmm. from staying in Canada so that happens a lot with the healthcare system in terms of like medical doctors sometimes even accountants yeah. finance department even nursing even nursing sometimes you know because Canada yeah they will tell you though Canada wants people that prof that professional skilled workers, skilled workers. <laughs> but then when you come to the country it's like you have, to start, like you have to start over they want you to do a sort of course or you know they just want you to get their own degree or certificate before they can allow you to work here and you might not exactly get the same position you had mm -hmm. back home so that's another reason why people 
people get fed up and yeah, they don't want to start fed. all over yeah. again. Having, having to start all over is definitely really hard. Challenging. Some people, like imagine you are coming from your home country where you are like the senior director of a particular company and you move to Canada and you have to start at the junior level role. It's like it's such a hard period yeah. for some people to, try, yeah. to swallow. Yeah. They just have to manage for a bit and at some point that feeling of demoting in your career just makes them feel some yeah. type of way and they're like i can't do this anymore maybe i'll just go back home and go look for another senior level role or just continue at my previous job i can't just cope from starting from the very yeah, very scratch yeah. and we all know that when you move to canada you're literally starting all over again yeah another reason why people leave canada is because there is no work-life balance here People tend to work and work and work just to pay their bills, just to get their heads up and just take care of their basic ex like necessity of life. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like they just keep working and working and working. I mean, yeah. the government tried their best to give like holidays for long weekends so that people can spend more time with their family and all. But like, how much long weekends do you have in a year? Still not it's never enough. enough. People yeah. keep working and working and working. It's like a ridiculous circle that you don't even yeah. have your own life. Go home work go to work go home go to work it's sometimes people like they're like when you say why are you working so much it's like there's really nothing to do i'm bored and if i'm bored like there's nothing to do that's when you when you are now idle you find yourself getting into depression and all so people yeah. just tend to take more shifts or look yeah. for second jobs and all those things just to keep themselves busy and keeping yourself busy is like you're not going to basically enjoy while you are even here in the first yeah. place you just keep working yeah. and working and working that also affects immigrants a lot because mm -hmm. when immigrants come here they're like oh i'm coming for a better life for myself and my kids yeah but you find out that they come here and they don't even have time for their kids because guess what they are work they are, they are trying to pay the bills they're trying to make money send money back home so they are working so hard so it's like what's the where's the work-life balance? balance at the end where's of the day the where's the time you have for your kids for, for your, your kids. family for your spouse How do you, when do you even get to spend all this money you're working for but the yeah. truth is they don't even get to spend the money because there is no money in the first place in when you work place. and work and work you pay taxes you pay all your response uh, your bills needs you send money back home you take care of yeah. all your like responsibilities and by the time you are done with all that there's no money left for you to even enjoy your life so you have to go back to work yeah. <laughs> and even the little circle. money you save you spend it on vacation yes you get to go for yeah, vacation two weeks vacation. Go on vacation how is it that's also another thing <laughs> like where i came from in nigeria you get one month Leave. vacation i work one month vacation i work which is still paid but here is when i started to hear that people get two weeks vacation in a whole year like two weeks is not enough seriously two weeks is not enough seriously. i get that they're trying to make more money and everything maximize the usage of their employee but it's or too much we're not why are they using it too much like why why are you working so hard you don't even get yeah. to enjoy your own yeah your money yeah, and, and if, if you eventually go for the vacation you spend all the money you save and then you have to come back and start a circle all over again so it's a circle it's a ridiculous People, circle. Yeah, it's a ridiculous circle so what are your thoughts about this are these valid reasons as to why people are leaving canada or do you think it makes sense to you um do you know people that have left canada or are you even considering leaving canada personally i do know a couple of people that have left canada and they tell you that i can never move back here i can never live here i'm happier where i am i prefer life here i see a lot of tiktok videos of people that move to the u.s especially they tell you that ah life here just feels different yeah. it feels like a different environment i feel happier here my life is better i feel like everything is just different for them so without saying much i know that people really do leave canada and they prefer it elsewhere what are your thoughts let me know from some you some people will leave and also come back, come yeah, back. some people will leave <laughs> That's and come back also <laughs> so would you consider leaving canada <laughs> hmm. i think that would be a story for another time oh that would be a story for another okay time. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoy watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm more than excited to read from you. And I'll see you in another video. Don't forget to check out Tinola's channel and our Instagram. I'll leave it in the description box. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, Bye. guys.